Hey, what is up, guys? In here with another YouTube video, and today I'm showing you how you can record your monitor screen for completely free. The best thing about this software is whenever you're trying to record gameplay and stuff, there's not a lag spike from the recording software trying to record your screen because it's do this software doesn't take a lot of CPU and like it doesn't take a lot of your processes to run it, and it's really light loaded or it's a really light load um, software. But anyways, what this program is called is called OBS. So basically, you want to open it to download it. I'll leave a link in the description below for those of you that are lazy, but how you get to it the hard way is you go into Google or whichever software you use and you can either type in OBS and or the OBS how to get rid of black wires that was from a while back but anyways you want to type in OBS and it'll come up with open broadcast software and if it doesn't come up with that then just type in open broadcast software and it will give you the same thing but this will come up right here you want to go ahead and just forget this and just click download right here and it'll go straight to this place here or into the this is in the oh, by the way a lot of people think this is viruses with this because it's free and stuff this software has no viruses. I've used it over and over countless times, and thousands of people use it. For like thousands of YouTubers use it, including myself, and streamers and stuff, because you're able to do streaming with this software as well. But um, what you want to get is you want to get the stable version and st download OBS. You can either download a zip file, or you can get it as a BitTorrent, or you can get it just download it straight here. Um, I don't like I haven't done this video, but if you want me to, I can do it on the uh, Mac. How you can do it through that or Linux, and you want to click the original one once it multi platform, that's all up to you. I would pick the original and just download right here. But um, once you've got it downloaded, um, it'll come up, you do the installation and everything, and it'll come up to this right here. And well, basically, before this, but I'm recording, so I can't exactly um, stop, I can't stop the recording and be able to still show you. But um, what it'll come up, there won't be any scenes here, it'll say scene and nothing here. And what you want to do is you basically right click and you click add. And you pick what, so if you want to record, say we want to record a, uh, a game, right? Okay, so you click game, you want to click, I already have game capture, but I'm just going to do this again. So it'd be game capture, right? All right, we'll just put, we'll just put MC, because I have MC, open, Minecraft open. So you click MC, right? And you want to click the application, click refresh, and you want to pick your Minecraft. So Minecraft 1.8.9, and you want to click OK. And then it'll be right here for the next, like it's right here for it to be able to open. So if I was to turn this off, which I can't because I'm recording, um, but uh, what uh, would happen is basically you're set up for your Minecraft. So if Minecraft right here open, and so see there it comes up. Now it has it open from when I last had it open. The only reason it's showing me right here from this is because I'm recording my monitor. But if I were to turn off my monitor, it only have your game. So basically, and it's really there's no lag whatsoever through it. So I'll just go ahead and exit out of Minecraft and it'll disappear. Go ahead and turn off my MC. But um, basically that's how you can do it through gaming recording your games and it's no lag I remember using fraps back when I had a my computer wasn't completely upgraded and fraps would slow my computer down just a little bit with OBS I, I don't get any kind of lag spike or anything there's absolutely no lag that's what I like best about it. it doesn't hinder like my performance in the game and it still records in high definition I'm recording in 720p because I'm not gonna record in 180p because it's a little too high for like it takes a little too long but um Basically, uh, these are my settings. If you want to how to change your settings and stuff, you just click on the setting right here, and you this is your general, and there's nothing really too much you want there. Encoding, I have mine just like this. I can probably make a video over this, but I'm just going to quickly scan through it. Uh, what my settings are, you can also wave over these things, and it will tell you a little description of what it, what's going on with that setting. Broadcast setting, this is for if you're a streamer and where you want your um, where you want the video to be, like the video like after it's all done recording or whatever. This is where it will go. Um, video, this is where you set the aspect ratio, the monitor size, everything. I'm currently recording my 1920 by 1080 and resolution downscale. You can record if you can, you want to downscale it. If you want to resolution downscale it, like downscale the resolution, this is where you have it. I have mine set to 60 frames per second because for gaming videos, you want to set it to 60 frames per second because it looks a lot better than 30 because games run better at 60 frames per second. Audio, I have my headset what I use for my sound through here and then I have my microphone which is currently going through another editing software which I will make another video over but um, that's another another video for another day <laughs> but uh, that's what I have for my audio settings hotkeys I don't use those really too much advanced I have this above normal super fast high 700 basic, the basic settings um, quick sync encoder don't use that I don't use the noise gate and I don't use the scene switcher but uh, that's basically it for the settings. It's really, really wonderful 
um, recording software. I absolutely love this because I'm probably going to keep using it till it, till forever, till it goes. Because I love how it works with everything. But um, if you're if this video helps you and this uh, this video helped you and the um, OBS was a good, if you tried it out and it worked really well, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And share this video with your friends if they're trying to start a YouTube channel and they're trying to do like gaming videos or recording like on their screen and stuff and they're having problems because the computer's not exactly able to handle it this this software should be able to do the trick because it's a really light loaded like it's like the it takes a really light load on like on your CPU and your graphics card but um thanks for watching this video guys be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next video